Well, Americans are in love with animals, even exotic animals that shouldn't be considered pets. But that doesn't stop people from living with monkeys, snakes, even alligators. As CW 33's Barry Carpenter reports, when they're no longer the cat's meow, they wind up at the Outdoor Learning Center in Plano. Call it a halfway house for unwanted exotic animals. The Outdoor Learning Center is home to 200 animals. This monkey was dropped off 20 years ago when he got his owner kicked out of his apartment. This alligator was raised in a tub that was too small, deforming his mouth and teeth. Oh, well, now she's going to get mad. Curator Jim Dunlap is holding a finnick fox from the Sahara Desert in Africa, another example of exotic pet buyer remorse. And what they're doing, they're buying a wild animal that is twice as dangerous because it's still a wild animal and it's not afraid of people. Even the tiny fox can do damage. If you put her down, you will not be able to catch her. And when you do, she'll bite you. And she has very sharp teeth. This Nile crocodile is obviously a long way from home. He was bought at a Plano pet shop and lived with his owner until he tried to bite his hand off. I'm told it was pretty bloody. The croc can grow to 20 feet long and weigh 600 pounds. Dunlop says that in many cases it's legal to sell exotic animals, but many city ordinances prohibit owning them. This black spider monkey was found on a bitter cold night on a fence near Love Field. Because of frostbite, its toes were amputated. This bobcat bit its owner and wound up at the outdoor learning center. But it's not just exotic animals that are dropped off. One time, 45 cottontail rabbits were dropped off in a single hour. People look at them and think, oh, it's a baby, it needs my help. And that's not necessarily the case. Mom is usually nearby and nature is taking its course. This pot-bellied pig will grow to 200 pounds. <coughs> and remember, this baby gator will someday look like this. <laughs> Barry Carpenter, CW33, News at 9. And the Outdoor Learning Center has tried to place the animals in sanctuaries, but many of them are full.